Hello YouTube. Oh, and today we're going to do a review on the UK TV broadcaster Sky, which uh, this box is Sky HD, which has been out for a couple of years now, and we've decided to invest in it. So uh, let's go ahead and have a look at it. So as you see, you actually get for a television box quite a stylish box, and um, it's currently free. If you take out Sky HD as a new customer, for existing customers you have to pay so much of the installation, which is um, fine by me, because for Sky they can such a quality service. They just beat everybody in the UK from Freeview, Virgin Media, basically everyone. So yeah, basically there was hardly anything on the Sky box itself as an interface because usually the remote is the main way of using the box which is quite a stylish remote for a remote and then you've got this Panasonic one which is absolutely horrible and then this one so all good and good uh, Sky HD is Sky Plus but HD on which Sky Plus is obviously a very good feature which has been proven because it's been out for so many years and so many subscribers around the UK use it such a good service for TV. There's the pause, rewind, fast forward, pause live TV and then play it back. You can record, uh, record series links, which is a good feature. So I'll press record, series link, and record every episode of that series automatically without the user doing anything. So you've got on holiday, everything will be recorded on this, which brings me nicely to storage. Now the Sky Plus HD box comes with a standard 250GB hard drive which is a very, very respectable space for uh, storing all your TV on. Uh, I have the Sky Plus box which I'll probably put another video on which is not this one. Uh, these are the standard boxes now for Sky so if you get to head Sky you will get this one anywhere now. Mine's the old wide ones which does mean very good. I've only had it about half a year, so it just proves how much Sky move on in a half a year. Uh, mine only comes with 80 gig, but that does mean fine. All my friends and everything are recorded, so love it. So yeah, so on the front, very standard box really. I'll just zoom in so you can get a better view. So, on the top, we've got power, um, arrows to select to move around the menu, backup, which is a day of everything, information, the program information to tell you what it's about, and TV guide, which is essential to do a look around the TV guide. And on the front, we have the Sky Plus logo. Here is the icon which lights up, which is good. So if I just press record now, should light up. As you can see now it's light up red to say you're recording. And then if I press pause, the light, the blue, I don't know if you can see, but the blue LED lights show that it's paused. When you play, it'll spin round to show that it's playing. Sky bang on to when it comes to operation but it's so easy, simple to use. And to get back to live TV as it's coming down, you simply press the sky button and that switch off. And obviously you want to cancel the cord, just press R. And it is now saved, which I will show in a minute in your planner. All your buttons here which is for recording that if, if you lose the remote you can still use the operation record. So you've got fast, uh, rewind, stop, record, play, pause and fast forward. Here you've got icons such as telephone, uh, LAN, remote, so when you use the remote, it lights up. Here is a flap which you can't see, that's why I love about Sky, the box which could design, hide everything out of view because you don't want it to look tacky here. You pull that down and there is your Sky viewing card which allows the box to communicate with the outside world. And now, for the back. Okay. So as you can see, there is quite a lot of wires. 
for good reason, because it's HD, you want it to connect to everything that you have. So, start from over here to RS, I have a lot of this, so uh, Telephone line, which allows you to, um, which allows Sky to communicate with your box, to download stuff for like new EPG or something. E-Stata, so you can, I think you can, uh, it might be wrong, but I can imagine you could probably copy stuff off the hard drive onto another hard drive to watch on your computer or Mac. Uh, USB, Ethernet ports, no, that's probably for like interactive. Soon, we'll probably be moving on to like films so you can download stream off the internet. HDMI cable, which is essential. Being a HDMI box, a HD box, which is essential to get the full 1080i pitch quality which Sky provides. Odd fashion scar, I can't see myself why I put this on because it'd be a HD box, but it's more for standard customers who don't want the HD functionality. Uh, the two dish inputs, which I will show the mini dish on the back of the house soon. The is Sky Plus and Sky HD require two inputs from this um, the satellite, one being so you can record two programs, one you're watching all recording and the other. That's why there's two. There's LBR inputs, and then you've got the standard mono connections, video, audio left, audio right. And then you've got a digital output, which is for good for your surround sounds. And on the side, it's just ventilation because obviously there's a hard drive in there. So you've got to keep optimum cool for optimum operation. If you're wondering why all this is here, it's not like this because. There's a sofa here which will cover the box and then the TV just there with the camera. Here's a closer look at the remote. Absolutely beautiful remote to use. There's your Sky TV guide, mute input and select, play and pause, record, stop, and all your buttons to get round to the um, channels. So I'll just pause now, put the sofa back and show you. I've had it Okay, so put that on mute. This is the um, Sky HD user interface. Uh, people watching this here who've had Sky in the past will know this is a brand new um, EPG that we're not used to. The old one was, um, it's okay to do, but it's a bit outdated now. And obviously for Sky HD, they thought, let's re ramp it and let's put a new one on. So, it's really nice, beautiful, crisp, pure 1080i uh, menu system. Um, old fashioned one used to be just a list of all the categories for all the channels like all pro entertainment, you know, lifestyle, news, sports. But now it's got kind of what we've a ribbon like on office or something where you go across now. So if I want to get to HD, simply press right and it'll go across to HD. No lag whatsoever, really nice string straight through. And then go down, press down, and literally just have a look. It highlights all the ones in HD, which I think have been recorded in HD, but some just look scaled to HD. And just keep getting through. And there's, I think there's about 50 HD channels now. It's really nice. I mean, Sky Sports News HD is only just been released, you know what I mean? Watch it, press select once, press select again, and there you go. It's still not easy. And beautiful menu, beautiful HD on a HD screen. Re Sky really good with producing this TV show. It's absolutely bang on. Just put that on mute again. So, if you want to change the settings, you simply press up, and then you'll move across the TV guide, and there is your planner which then you can go down and view recordings and then watch them back so press select you could it's so good to use the interface if you want to skip oh I don't know skip to a bit your left that's like 15 minutes press 15 press select and it will be there which is great for usability and then if you want to get to the toilet simply press pause and it's paused and it will stay there for however long you want it to 
And when you come back, press apply, and then it'll apply simultaneously. Now live, beautiful. Then obviously you can change settings, you've got any time, which is TV on demand, if you want to watch some of it. Monster Eels, press select, select again. You are now watching Sky anytime, watching a program from your delight. And the, the, you can't tell you how nice the picture is. You don't get it on the camera, obviously, because it's not HD camera. But the picture is absolutely phenomenal. Really good mm -hmm. picture quality. Yeah, that's the one for them. Monster Eels. And like I said, just like before, pause, play. You can even press record, and this program will then copy to your hard drive, and you can keep it forever. But the ball is absolutely amazing from Sky. And then there's box office in the UK where you can watch films. Obviously, I think you have to play, or if you have the movies, press play, and it select and it'll simply play straight from your HD box. Interactive for all your lottery and games, everything's there. Radio, you can even listen to radio on Skyboxes there. Search for any program you want to search for. And then obviously you can um, configure your box how you want it. So you put parental control if you have children you can optimise so if your kids can only watch so much stuff obviously not 18 adult stuff and options, disk management, settings here I will prove that it's pure HD 1080i you can change it obviously to 720p or standard definition or automatic so whatever it was recorded in it will automatically play that but we like to keep it on 1080i to get the full potential out of the box and another one Sound DRBD, look at that, and obviously details and everything. Signal, there's the two mini dish connections, which I will now go and show you. So we just turn that off, and there is the Sky Plus. There's the mini dish with connections, obviously, going to my room and the downstairs. Very discreet, it's quite a nice dish to be fair, it's not like that big massive one.